So the first thing we want to look at is if I was going to expand this out. Now, I probably should have give you guys actually even a harder one. But this, guys, this is negative 3x squared, right? In reality, you guys could have done this in your head. But I should have, been, I should have actually given you guys a harder one. In reality, we know that the highest power here is going to be negative 3x squared dot, 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 dot. Would you guys agree? We know the highest power there is negative three x squared. So negative three x squared is going to be nine x squared. And then we have negative x plus one. So now, if we were to multiply these two out, right? we don't know what the rest of it is. But we know that the highest power we're going to get is negative x times nine x squared, which would give me a negative nine x cubed. And then if we were to multiply these two together, we'd have a negative 9x to the seventh. All right. So now we got to look at this, though. We haven't talked about any polynomials raised to the seventh power, have we? But so, well, well, guys, guys, no, no, not now. Not now. Not now. So the important thing, go, guys, is this is, pos this is odd, but this is negative. So you guys should know that the end behavior is going to look just like the cubic over here it's going to rise left, fall right. I don't know what's happening. In, I have no idea what a, what a polynomial to the seventh power looks like. Guys, no idea. All I know is, like I showed in Desmos, I know whatever happens here it doesn't really matter because the graph falls, rises left, falls right. So I'd say as the limit as x approaches negative infinity, which means as we're going to the left, it's going to go to infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive infinity goes towards negative infinity. OK? Um, that is it. Crap.